Arrow has worked with Cadence to bring their ORCAD EDA solution to the web at orcad.arrow.com. And today I want to show you how to do one of the fundamental circuits, the RLC circuit. So we're going to go over just placing a simple RLC circuit right now. I'm going to show you how to use the ORCAD capture tool and get a basic circuit onto the ground. First thing you see when you go to orcad.arrow.com is a nice big blank workspace. Click up here for a new workspace. I'm just going to go with the default names because I don't plan to save any of this. And as soon as you hit OK, you start with page one of your schematic. Now an RLC circuit is just a resistor, inductor, and capacitor. So we're going to place simple parts. So just place parts here. You can see we have discrete parts. And it gives you all your basic circuit symbols and even some more complicated ones. So first thing we want is a resistor. Just drag and drop. And then I hit escape just to cancel selection. An inductor. And a capacitor. Right there is our simple circuit. I'm going to zoom in on it just to give it a little more to see. Now I'm going to add a voltage source. And a ground. I'm going to rename this to GND. And I'm going to wire it all together. You can wire it all together just by hitting W. And as you are selecting points, you can actually see that it will snap two valid connections, as well as highlight them in bright red. There we go, very simple RLC circuit ready to go. Now, what if you wanted to put actual parts on this? I mean, just having an RLC is not that great when you're trying to go to design. So I'm going to select my resistor and then do arrow part search. This arrow part search gives you access to the entire arrow parts database so that you can highlight and find what components you want, put together your bill of materials and be ready to order your prototype quickly. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna limit it to in stock parts. And then I'm going to open passives, resistors, fixed resistors, and I'm just gonna do surface mount, um, single fixed resistors. Here we are setting in stock. I want it to be a quarter watt part. And I'm looking for 100 K ohm. Okay, we're into the kilo ohms. There's 100 K ohm. And I click apply filter. So this gives me all of the in stock 100 K ohm quarter watt fixed surface mount resistors. Now I can select one. This is a TE connectivity part, the uh, 1 TAC 1 6. I have my resistor selected over here and I just click link and you can see it says the following selected parts R1 has been annotated with the part number, manufacturer, and part IDs. So now you can see when I click on it again all of that shows up right here in the attribute values. This makes it very easy to order a bill of materials when you're ready to go to prototype. I can continue on and do that for the inductor and capacitor as well. Same process, except for one thing you may not realize, inductors are cataloged under magnetics here. And that's where you'll find leaded or surface mount inductors. Now that you know how to do some of the basic circuits in ORCAD Cloud, you can now design your circuits at orcad.arrow.com.